Welcome to The Lance Out Loud. I'm Lauren O'Neill. And I'm Brianna Gare. Now, if you left your house anytime near Halloween, you might have noticed a creepy trend, other than half-naked girls. You might have noticed a horde of the undead roaming around your streets and murmuring, for brains. But what is this about zombies? They're everywhere. Even when you log on to Facebook, you find you've been bitten by one of your friends. Websites are devoted to the undead, and you can even track zombies with Google Maps. One of the reasons why zombies are so popular is because they're a great device for satire, and they're also just really cool to look at. George Romero's dead movies were always skewering one thing or another, the most popular being Dawn of the Dead. The idea behind zombies swarming a shopping mall was meant as a slight against consumerism. When you're brain dead, where do you go? The mall. In recent years, the concept of zombie walks have risen around the world. Groups of people get dressed up as zombies to either disrupt the social norm or just scare people. Windsorites are not without their sense of irony as they played host to the third annual zombie walk on Devil's Night. <gasps> what we like to do, uh, at least for our zombie walk, is we like to get uh, cohorts of the undead together, uh, mostly mostly from Windsor and the surrounding area. And we get together and hassle the, uh, the inhabitants of Windsor, Ontario. A zombie walk in general happens to be uh, when a bunch of people get together, dress up often like zombies or, or something in an undead theme, and uh, go for a little walk. About 70 people of all ages dressed up as their favorite corpses, and after practicing some grunts and groans, the zombie army descended upon the unwitting downtown patrons. Guys, we're undead! Run! Just run! run! It is often to kind of uh, distract people from the status quo. Uh, and to engage people on a level that they aren't usually engaged on. Uh, to kind of get people to think uh, outside of their usual point of reverence. Regardless of, of Halloween, uh, most people don't take very much time uh, to really go and do something uh, maybe experimental or expand on uh, their experiences. Uh, there are many ways to do this. Uh, zombie walk is just one of the ways we do it. So, if you had to pick a type of zombie to be, which type of zombie would you be? I would probably pick a George Bush follower, and I would have a Dixie Chick CD in one hand, and I would throw it in the ground randomly and stomp on it, and I would probably repeatedly say nuclear and evil over and over again. Perfect. How about you? Um, I would be that contestant from last year's Miss Teen USA pageant, South Carolina. Okay. Yeah, I would be her. The uh, And like, such as um, the Iraq and um, South Africa, and like, such as... The children. <laughs> That's right. who I would be. Well, there's always next year. Yeah. We'll, we'll write that down. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace.